Hi guys, welcome to another video from Super Good Pixels Play With Toy series. This is our updated review for C3PO from Sideshow with a fix for the thumb if you're interested. Here's our um, updated figure. Basically we had the original figure, we returned him, we got a full another figure, and then we got an exchange for the head and hand, right hand after that, because there were some problems. Now, since I got exchanged parts, I'm supposed to destroy the old part, so that gives us uh, a little bit of a chance to experiment. Now, here is the full figure changed out head. You can see they forgot to paint one of the eyeballs, and that's kind of a problem because there's no way to get to that. And this little piece is missing off his hand, and his thumb just will not move at all. And these mystery pieces were in the box, which is sort of disturbing. And here's another look at the head. This would be the second head out of three. And uh, people are kind of curious about the paint job. Again, it's pretty spot on to what the first one was. So if you didn't like those um, detailing, it's the same. Now, the head on my second one, it really popped in and out really easy. Now, my third head wouldn't even go in. Now, the problem is, now, this little piece I pulled off, I have to destroy this head. That little black piece where the battery goes in can get out of alignment. And your head will not go back into the figure. Or if it comes out of alignment after you stuck it in guess what? You can't pull the head out. So you have to really watch that. Now that's only glued on in one spot and it's kind of wiggly. So watch out for that. Now <clears throat> this is the uh, second hand. Now I want to talk about the thumbs because I want to point out the thumbs just don't bend naturally. I've kind of installed them in the same direction as the fingers. So like they bend the same direction as your, your fingers, and that's just not right. No one, no one's finger, thumbs bend like that. So, <clears throat> I uh, did a little experiment. Now here is the fixed hand. So what I've done is this is the hand I'm supposed to destroy. So I actually cut off his thumb and glued it in at the correct angle, and it looks a million times better. Now I, I'm probably gonna say for most of you, don't do this because. It is like a $200 figure, and you are breaking it by doing what I'm going to tell you what to do right now. It's basically you get this knife, and you just slice off his thumb. There's no way to wiggle it into place. I tried to do that, and uh, it won't go. So that's the only way you're going to do it. And then you're going to have to get some glue, um, zap a gap, and glue it on. You might get a little frosting. On mine, it's not perfect, so it needs a little black paint and then little joints. But that's it. Now, these little chinks in the armor are still there. Now this is completely out of the blue. I wanted to show people the Mediacom C-3PO. I was under the impression that I remembered it being pretty decent and I, I mentioned it in our first review and I pulled it out and it's uh, pretty awful compared to the Sideshow. So I'm going to say the Sideshow one is pretty good except for the thumbs. So I'm pretty happy with the figure. I'm annoyed that it took way too long to get this figure settled. I don't know, we've been dealing with this figure for about a month. But there you go. If you guys have any questions about the thumbs, but I think we uh, we wrapped it up there. Um, support us at Super Good Pixel. Check out our Android games. Thanks to everybody who's rated and give us good reviews. Like the videos, uh, give us thumbs up, and we'll be back with some more videos. I got some new figures coming in, and we'll post some more videos very soon.